I was shocked to find out that he was a part of it too. I, I don't even know that I could sit here and explain it, so I'm just going to show you guys. Australian cougar fighter. We don't do much around here, but we do hunt pigs, chickens, and boy, do we like hunting cougars. Eat them for dinner. So, today's episode is going to just be us exploring around the place, seeing what else we can build. Also, I got some exciting news for y'all. Proud to say, but I quit. I was addicted, but now I've quit. Hello boys, my name's Australian Croc Hunter, come to these pots looking for Crocs, you boys seen any, <laughs> you boys seen any Crocs? <laughs> It's okay boys. It's alright boys. Can you boys help me find some crocs? Yeah. I don't see any crocs. Oh, crikey, it's a bloody raccoon! Ah! <laughs> Get the croc! <sighs> What's out for the raccoon? <laughs> what do raccoons make me sneeze? You okay, mate? Should have, should have warned you, mate. It's croc hunting. It's risky business, mate. A croc. There's a croc. Okay, I'm getting down from here. Got called my name. There's no crocs in this area. Maybe we should go that way. Onward. Oh, there's a block to your cane in my leg! <laughs> no, no! Ethan, you don't, I have to say it over and over again. What do you reckon? Thought for sure we'd find some crocs in that brush pile. <laughs> Wait! Maybe there's some crocs in that lagoon. Crikey! Look at the size of that croc. It's a giant croc. Peanut! 
mate. You okay? You okay, mate? It's okay, mate. <laughs> Hunter just walks off on us. It was really sad. One day he'll come back, we'll go croc hunting again. Them crocodiles are kind of vicious around here. That was that was a great ride with my old friend croc hunter. Yeah, and uh, so um, we're all gonna see him again. We love him, and he's a croc. Okay, so I'll just say this. If the video doesn't make sense, and this, a lot of you it may not, um, we're going to put an iCard right here to the first video. Go back and watch that. And then the rest of this will all... I don't want to say make sense because I just said make sense. But it will all come together. Um, and there's also a link in the description. I'm trying to video and it's like we have to preface to everyone not to talk or walk in front of the camera. So I was just laughing about that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys thought that was funny um a little bit of backstory in that it's opening day of dove season so that wasn't us <laughs> it's actually our neighbor by the pond um anyways uh a little bit of backstory with reed he always had this weird like accent and and then the character of australian cougar fighter came up and then after that happened tobin spends too much time in his van by himself thinking and thought it would be funny to add another spin on it and they had a really good time filming it. It was it was a lot of laughing when we were videoing and editing and seeing the um, bloopers and stuff like that but you can't say we don't have fun in this house. It's actually really funny. Um, but I wanted to also let you guys know that last week the boys went out to a very good friend of ours um, has some property that he leases and he was gracious enough to let the boys go out there in Tobin and practice for dove season. And so we're going to show you guys that video right now.
Sticks. Sticks. Alright, whenever you're ready. Oh, I did double! There you go. Hey, remember what I told you about your thumb? Yeah, stick it like this. What? Huh? What? That's just how I do. <laughs> I said if you get it in pink, you can get it for your $100 plus. Okay. <laughs> you can't, you can't rolling around like that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's strong in his sexuality. He doesn't need that. He don't care. Just give me a shotgun, Dad. I don't care what color it is. I'm ready. Go. When it comes to stuff that, like, I don't really want. Boom. Oh. Oh, right. Chuck and walk away. Inject. Can I throw one, Dad? You want to use these air fresheners? No wonder, Rob. Wait, can you just have a string and put them up in your car? Oh, good. I'm going to start saying that now. You so, that video that we shot was from a couple days ago. Um, as you heard just a second ago, today is September 1st, opening day of dove season. But um, they were just practicing, and they have a couple trips planned over the next couple weeks to go dove hunting and they're really super excited. This is really the first year I think the boys are gonna be old enough to really uh, completely participate, especially Easton. Um, so they're really excited about that. We also want to give you guys an update on Reed's four-wheeler tire and the foam. If you haven't watched that video, you can go back through our videos. It's just a couple videos back um, of the tire being filled with foam. And I guess the question everyone's asking is, did it work? So we'll so roll that So if y'all watched out. one of our recent videos where we filled Reed's foiler tire with spray foam. Here's an update for you. So after getting it out on the road and riding it a little bit, I noticed it had a little bit of a, when you would ride it, you could feel a little bit of a bump. So let me show you what it did. It definitely has a lot of foam in it, but just around the outside, it is kind of compressed a little bit. See it right there, right there. Not quite as bad there, a little bit there. So my assumption is, is there was probably some voids in that foam and when we got it out there and rode it real good on some real flat ground, it compressed any of those little voids and that's why it's got room in there now. So we're going to go back in there with our drill and we're going to drill some holes just right in the top, like anywhere where it's like right there, we're going to drill a hole right there and we're going to put some foam in. Same thing, right there, we're gonna put some foam in. We're gonna do that, see what happens. Like I said, oh, tire fell over. Like I said, y'all, on the other video, this is an experiment, and it's just an attempt to uh, avoid having to buy 
an expensive tire that we really don't need. So worst case scenario, I waste 10 or 15 bucks on foam and we still end up having to buy a tire. So, but we're going to uh, put that foam in there. We'll drill some holes and put it in there real quick and then we'll give it a while and see what happens. So let's do that real quick. All right, guys, move around. I, I drilled a hole pretty much like about every second little knob in the tread. Went back in there and filled it up. So I'm, I'm now that we've done this, I'm wondering if I may need to let it, you know, cure till tomorrow, drive it again, and it may have to end up coming back and doing that one more time. So we'll see. At worst case, if this does work, uh, you know, I'm about 15 bucks on foam so far. So, which is still even cheaper than getting it patched. So I'll tell y'all a secret. So I just showed y'all a time lapse when I was doing that. A lot of times I like to show y'all in real time what we're doing. I like to listen to music when I'm working. Here at the house or at my day job or whatever. I listen to music and podcasts all the time. But when I listen to music, I don't know if some of y'all may not know this, but if, if I play music on our channel that I don't have the rights to play, we can be the video can be demonetized and we don't make any money off the video. So a lot of times I do time lapses because you can't hear anything on the time lapse, and that way I can listen to my music. I was just listening to some some really good music. So if y'all don't know, I know a lot of our viewers are not from Texas, not from Oklahoma, the South. But if you didn't know, Texas has its own version of country music, and it's not what you hear on the Nashville radio stations. It is real good country music. Unfortunately, a lot of times now, in my opinion, what you hear on Nashville radio stations is junk and garbage. It's rap songs to like a country beat or it's guys that probably have never been in the woods before singing about being in the woods. Guys that have never been on a tractor before singing about being on a tractor, stuff like that. And I just don't like it. My opinion, if you like it, whatever. I'm not I'm not, I'm not bashing you, you for liking it. I'm just saying I don't like it. But if you want some refreshing good music, do some searches and find Texas country. This dude right here, Jason Bolin and the Stragglers. I've been listening to him for 20 years now. He plays mainly in Texas and uh, great music. So many great uh, singer songwriters coming out of Texas, Oklahoma. Um, it's called, we, we call it, people in this area call it either Texas country or red dirt country is another word for it. But it's more just uh, local, um, uh, regional uh, singer songwriters and uh, some of the best music you're gonna hear. So go check them out. Um, you'd be amazed at how much music goes on down here in this area um it probably doesn't reach a lot of the rest of the country so like guys like ryan bingham you know he's he's on yellowstone now they put a lot of his music on there he grew up just right down the road from us um and uh rodeoed with a lot of guys i rodeo with in high school and and knew and um yeah ryan bingham's one that's kind of like taken off uh, granger smith started out kind of takes this country i remember listening to him 20 years ago as well uh, he's gotten a little more uh, on a national level now, but definitely I still would consider him Texas country. Uh, so many of them, just so so many of them, like Sturgill Simpson, um, Tyler Childers. Those guys fall into the Texas country uh, category, even though they're not really uh, from Texas. Uh, the, 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 they've kind of, Texas country, uh, red dirt country has definitely adopted them. So anyway, I'll quit giving you all my pitch on Texas country. If you haven't already, you like music, go check it out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. If you do like Texas country, uh, leave in the comments who you like to listen to. Um, uh, I'd love to hear it. I'm sure whoever it is, I, I've, you know, if, if, if you mentioned somebody I haven't heard of, I'd be surprised, but I'd definitely like to hear them if I haven't heard of them. So <clears throat> guys, we'll uh, keep y'all updated on the tire, see what happens. If we're sitting on this table, she has no self-awareness. I wish you could see her on the other side of the camera right now, because she is, here she comes. Oh, no. Skylar. <laughs> she she's, wants she's trying to drink this <laughs> kool And she knows better. Okay, so I have a little boy here <laughs> and he would like to give you guys an update on his four-wheeler. Blue. I haven't seen her on the videos a lot. Look very closely. There it is. And if you go watch my channel, y'all will see a whole series of me talking about how it won't start. 
still won't start. It started uh, yesterday, wrote it, and it still won't start. And uh, so. <laughs> but it's for a different reason. Yeah, it's for a different reason. The first reason was because the a gas was bad. Now the other reason is because the battery's dead. So, oh y'all, give me some uh, comments and say, please uh, hashtag put up on the screen hashtag will it start? <laughs> hashtag will it Down start? Down in the com comments. That um, I, if the fool didn't start after this, I probably don't do that. You know what I'm gonna do with it? Nothing, so cause your mom and dad paid for it, so. <laughs> No, I'm gonna I'm gonna start it and keep on starting it until that thing starts. I never saw. <laughs> Thanks, Skyler, for coming to the camera. If you don't know, this is Skyler or Blue AC. Okay, all you. Um... <laughs> she wants it. All you. Um... <laughs> I don't want to say older people because then it'll date me. Excuse me, Skyler. How many of you remember? the hug drink. Did you ever have these, babe? Childhood memories. Did you ever drink them? I don't remember those. So I found them recently for the kids at Walmart, I think, and there's like, and this makes sense, you get like 36 of them for $2.50. But anyways, it's hot still in Texas and I've tried to pack our refrigerator outside, but, so comment down below if you guys remember these. Or is this just a Texas Southern thing? I don't know. Oh, so I have to tell you guys something I thought was really funny. And here she is again. I have to tell y'all something really funny. Um, I had, we had somebody comment on one of our uh, videos and it was the sweetest comment. I really do think it was sweet. But uh, she asked us <laughs> what eh means. Like eh, eh. And she spelled it out in the most perfect way that I knew exactly what she was talking about. But uh, she just asked, like, what, is that, what does that mean? And I, In I'm, reference to... In reference to Skylar getting into everything, Tobin will say to her, eh. And that just means no. And she was like, I, is that mean no? Do y'all always say that? Do you all of, Does your whole family just go, eh? <laughs> She meant, she meant absolutely nothing ill by it. And I thought it was just, I thought it was a sweet comment. But anyways, so comment down below. Is that just a Southern thing? Because I think it is. No. We don't say it to our kids. Oh, it sounds like a doe. <laughs> maybe, maybe we do. Okay. You don't have to keep talking. Oh. There's another one. It sounds like a doe. Like, I have... I have hair all in my face. So, Skylar does not like those that are used for dove hunting, those things. Um, they scare her. So, um, probably, I think Tobin's going to put her up because as soon as she heard that, she kind of took off and started running. So, I guess I'll give you guys a quick update on uh, Sarah and her tooth. Uh, we had both of them extracted last weekend. Um, they were not going to come out on their own. I think I told you guys that Tobin told her he'd pay her 50 bucks if he could get them out on her own. If she could get them out on her own without us having to pay um, money to have the dentist take them out. But uh, the way that they had grown, her other two teeth had basically wedged the baby teeth and they were not going to come out on their own. Um, we have the best dentist around in our town. Uh, she is phenomenal. And she only charged us to pull one tooth. Uh, we don't have dental insurance because I think we talked about this before. The kids and I usually go up to Chickasaw um, and have our dental work done. But I wanted this done quickly and I couldn't get in with them for months. So we just did our local dentist. She did not charge us that much. But anyway, she's doing great. The teeth, her permanent teeth are dropping down more. Um, which is what they were hoping for because they were stuck up in there because the baby teeth were blocking them. And it was a pretty seamless surgery. Um, with all of her medical issues, uh, she did the laughing gas and just having the procedure. She was in bed a couple days, um, not really necessarily from the extraction, but from everything else. But now she's good as gold. So anyways, we got something else to show you guys. We got hats. I don't think the camera is gonna do justice to the patchwork of these hats. 
They also smell really good. They smell like a like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Show them the tan one. So we got the tan one. They are sharp, super super sharp. So, babe, sit down and tell them what the plan is with these. <laughs> your, I thought this was just gonna be your video. Well, I mean it is, but you're <clears throat> sitting right there and you're cute, so we'll let you talk too. So, our hat guy knocked out of the park. As always. If y'all need a need hats, holler at us. Uh, I think Walker Farm Fam may be um, getting hats from our guy. That's good. Um, he does Ka ship. Cassie was texting us the other day asking his uh, information. So, we're going to be sending out some shirts and hats to other YouTubers uh, just as a thank you and... Um, really just... Thank you for supporting us on the journey. Yeah, yeah so we've got a, a list of other YouTubers we're going to send them to, but after that, whatever we have left over, we're going to we're going to put up for sale and see if y'all want to buy them. If y'all do, and they they sell, I mean, there there won't be very many left. There'll be a handful. But if uh, if y'all like them and and they sell out, then we'll obviously order some more. Yeah, and so. we can get them usually back to us within two weeks. So if it yeah. is something you guys are wanting. Yeah. Um, I guess they need to go ahead and have them comment. Like, how many yeah. of you would be seriously, seriously wanting to buy them? Yep. That way yep. we can get an idea. Um, we certainly don't want to come out of pocket a whole lot unless we know for sure that people are going to buy them. So we we are very proud of them. I, I like them. I like this tan and white one. Yeah. They're they're super sharp. A so. lot of people have asked about the pink cats. Um, he unfortunately has not had any in stock. He is trying out another brand. Yeah. Um, these are these are Richardson hats, which are very popular. I mean, it, like these, this is Adler's hat. It's a Richardson. I, every, I mean, every hat that you see is this, is, is this style is a Richardson, and he's trying out a different one. Yeah. So we may have pink hats, maybe not. Yeah. But we'll, we'll um, definitely let y'all know. And there was something else I wanted to tell them. Oh, you guys wanted to watch my progress on redoing the house, but see, Tobin didn't tell me it, let me in on the little secret. <laughs> that I videoed that part? <laughs> that he videoed that part. So I redid the whole living room and then I watched the video and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> but the good news is, the good news is, we have one thing to do in the living room that we can video, which will is like the shining star of the whole thing we're yeah. really excited about. Tobin's not excited, I'm excited. <laughs> Tom is not excited because he's the labor that yeah. is going to be involved. I, I'm not the labor that has to bring her vision to fruition. Actually, <laughs> let's talk about that. Whose idea was it? It was my idea, so I didn't have to tape and bed that wall that I fixed. So. Right. And but I am redoing the boys' room, so yeah. I will take you guys along with that. So what are we doing in the living room? What? You didn't tell them what we're doing. You just told them we're doing a project. Oh, you know, I was paint. I painted, repainted the whole living room. And ladies, you know, like when you repaint something, everything has to be changed. So I've been at TJ Maxx. I've been at Ross, Home Goods, everywhere you name it. I, I, I will show you guys later. I, I don't have it right now, but I found this thing on the side of the road. It was free. I mean, it was on the side of our road in our small town. I wasn't like just driving down the city streets, but I found it, and it's like this rustic wooden frame windowsill that doesn't have the windows in ladies you probably know what I'm talking about and then I bought like this wreath with it and he walked in the other day and I watched him and he didn't pay attention because they don't pay attention to stuff like that and he kept walking by it and I was like hey do you like it and he goes I have no idea what's going on there an old window frame just hanging in our living room what what I don't understand it's and it has a wreath and in, wreath inside of it it's very pretty. Yeah, I don't, so, I don't get it, but whatever. But we're redoing the entire yeah. living room. We have furniture yeah. that should, the rest of our furniture should be here. And then I, I will do a reveal but, for you guys <laughs> when I get it all together. But what are we doing that we're going to video? You didn't tell them that part. Yes, in the living room. But what's the thing? Shiplap. <laughs> yes, shiplap. Shiplap. If you, if the, the, the kids watch a YouTube channel called Dude Dad. And there's one where they do where they do a renovate. He's like it's like a spoof type video. Remember, he's like shiplap, 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 shiplap. Ship and then the boys' room is the last room I've we have painted and remodeled every single room in our house since we moved in. It'll be six years in November, and we've remodeled everything. The boys are the last room, and so I'm working on that this weekend. I will take you guys along with them. 
I want to apologize in advance. The boys' room is really ugly and it's really gross. And I will do my best to show you the before and afters. And then maybe we'll do a house tour. I don't think we've actually ever did a house tour of. Yeah, we'll I wish we that. had before pictures. Yeah, it was we ugly. do. We do. We the the kids' them. bathroom had carpet in it when we yeah. moved in. <laughs> and literally the day we moved in, we were still moving furniture in and she was cutting the carpet out. So. Two boys and carpet in the bathroom. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun, guys. We haven't done an update I, lately. Yeah. All right. Take us out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and ring that notification bell. Follow along in this journey. We are like 1,400 away from 10,000 subscribers. So yes. tell your friends about us. Tell your moms about us. Tell your children about us. Tell your horses about us. Tell us anybody that can subscribe to our channel. So. We're trying to hit that by the end of the year. We're hoping to hit it sooner, but for sure by the end of the year. So, Anyways, thanks guys for watching. See you we'll later. See you again. Bye.